In a world defined by beauty and sacrifice, there are those who rise above the ordinary, whose unwavering commitment and valor set them apart as true heroes. A visionary leader, military thinker, and strategic genius, General Sunit Francis Rodericks, name echoes through times as a beacon of inspiration for military minds and aspiring leaders alike. He adhered to three straightforward principles. Prioritize India above all else, being accountable to both the country and your faith and embracing the notion that limitless achievements are possible when one isn't concerned about receiving credit for them. With each appointment, General Rodericks showcased his exceptional leadership, professionalism and diverse operational experience. These qualities culminated in his becoming the Chief of Army Staff serving from 1990 to 1993. The seeds of the revolutionary ideas and initiatives were sown in his early days, laying the groundwork for the transformative impact they would later on have on the world stage. Born on 19 September 1933 in Bombay into a Goan Christian family, his academic voyage embarked at St. Xavier's High School, nestled in the heart of Bombay. Securing his place in the first course of Indian Military Academy's Joint Services Wink at remarkably tender age of 15 in 1949 stood as a testament to his undying resolve. He was commissioned into the 9th Field Regiment of Artillery in 1952, amassing invaluable experience as a gunner officer across different field artillery units. In 1960, he transitioned into aviation, propelling his career to soaring heights. Noteworthy is his participation as a pilot during Op Vijay liberation of Goa in 1961 and during the 1965 war. This effort facilitated his unit in executing 56 precise artillery fire missions on critical enemy formations. He commanded the 165 Field Regiment from 1970 to October 1971, ensuring unit readiness amid looming conflict. His planning excellence during this 1971 Indo-Pak War earned him the Vashisht Seva Medal Award in 1972. He joined the 1978 batch of the prestigious Military Academic Institution, the Royal College of Defence Studies in the United Kingdom. Adding to his remarkable journey, General Roderick's leadership transfer shown as he assumed command of crucial formations. He was awarded the prestigious Param Vishesh Seva Medal for his exceptional and distinguished service. As a chief, he envisioned the possibilities beyond convention. With Lakshmi Narayan Ramdas and Nirmal Chandra Suri, his batchmates from Joint Services Wing, he formed a trio of distinguished leaders who simultaneously commanded the highest echelons of their respective armed forces. As an exceptional leader, he pioneered numerous groundbreaking initiatives that reshaped the course of history. General S. F. Rodericks played a pivotal role in introducing women officers to the Indian Army during his Chief of Army Staff tenure. Under his leadership, Arjun tanks were inducted into the Indian Armoured Corps, elevating the Army's readiness and attack capabilities with the state-of-art equipment. He was the driving force in ensuring that Indian soldier got an equal opportunity to participate as the first world armies in UN missions. Revered as a visionary thinker and strategist, he earned exceptional honors during official visits to many countries. He passionately shared his vision to achieve the extraordinary and he found unwavering support in his wife, Mrs. Jean Rodericks, whom he married in 1961. Known not only for his distinguished military career, but also his deep-rooted family values, 
General Roderick's devotion to his family was evident in the way he made time for them despite the pressures of his professional life. General Rodericks was widely known and respected as a man of unwavering faith and devotion. His life is a testament to idea that strong belief in higher power can guide individuals to lead the purpose, moral integrity and a deep sense of responsibility. With Mrs. Jean Rodericks, he founded the ASHA organization initially aiding eight disadvantaged service children and expanding to 36 centers nationwide. General Roderick's legacy is one defined by unwavering dedication, exemplary service and remarkable leadership. Even after his military career, General Roderick's continued to leave an indelible mark as the 26th governor of Punjab and the 13th administrator of Chandigarh. He initiated 305 public projects to enhance the quality of life of the people. General S.F. Rodericks was a multifaceted persona, a diplomat, a tactician, a philosopher, and above all, a transformative force. The Army fraternity celebrates today his intellect, adaptability, and resilience that shaped his journey and turned him from an individual to an Icon. A great leader and a strategic thinker, to us he was also Grandpa. My biggest hero, my greatest inspiration, and the best grandfather that I could have ever dreamt of. He taught me almost everything I know. He raised me to fight for what was right by telling me stories of his time in the army and the government. I love you, Grandpa. We request the audience to kindly rise in his honor. <laughs>